Cloudflare Access as part of Cloudflare for Teams is a zero-trust access platform that runs on Cloudflare's global network. Access evaluates every request to your applications based on a user's identity and context, whether the application is SaaS, cloud, or on-premises. This video will walk you through how to protect a SaaS application with Cloudflare Access. Cloudflare Access allows you to use multiple identity providers to grant users access to the same application. This gives you the flexibility to onboard external users without having to add them to your centralized identity provider. For this demo, Cloudflare Access and two identity providers, GitHub and Google Workspace, have already been configured. To get started, navigate to the Applications tab in the Teams dashboard. Click Add an Application. There are two options, connecting a self-hosted application or a SaaS application. Choosing self-hosted secures internal tools, applications, or other resources such as Jira or iManage. Choosing SaaS integrates access into the login flow of applications not hosted by your organization. For this demo, we'll choose SaaS. Click Select, then choose an application, in this case Slack, from the drop-down menu. Next, retrieve the unique identifier and endpoint URL from Slack. Copy these fields from Slack and enter them in the application card. After choosing and configuring an application, the next step is to select one or more identity providers or IDPs. When users try to log into your application, Cloudflare Access will check their identity against a list of approved users configured at your IDP. SaaS applications can be configured with as many IDPs as needed, but we've chosen GitHub and Google Workspace for this demo. Click Next to configure an access rule. Configuring access rules allows you to enforce user policies for SaaS or internal applications. For this demo, we'll create a rule that denies access to Slack for all users attempting to log in from the United States, except for team members. To get started, enter a rule name. Then, specify a rule action. By selecting an action, you define how the rule protects the SaaS application. There are four action options, block, allow, bypass, or service auth. In this case, we'll select block, which means we are blocking a user or group of users from logging into Slack. The next step is to identify the user or user groups to allow or block from your application. There are three types of rule decisions, include, exclude, and require. In this case, we want to deny access to Slack for all users attempting to log in from the United States. To do this, select Country from the drop-down list on the left and choose United States. We want to make sure our team members can still have access to Slack. Click Exception, select Emails Ending In from the drop-down list and type at myteam.com. This will block all login attempts from the United States except those coming from users whose email addresses end in at myteam.com. There's no limit to the number of rules you can add to an application. To complete the access rule configuration, click Add Application. The final step to add Slack to Cloudflare Access requires adding the SSO endpoint, access entity ID or issue, and public key to Slack's configuration. We suggest copying the fields from the Cloudflare dashboard, saving them in a secure location, and reconfiguring Slack before clicking Done. You can now see, edit, and delete Slack from the Applications list. In this video, you saw how to connect a SaaS application, Slack, to Cloudflare Access with Okta and Azure AD and configure an access rule. Now you're ready to get started with Cloudflare Access. To learn more about how Cloudflare Access can protect your internal and SaaS applications, all without a VPN, visit cloudflare.com teams access.